impossible. The demon credit party kept fucking with him. He said, watch me work, pimpin' pimpin'. With his 72 hours, over 3 million followers on TikTok. The best goddamn social app around, of course. Because it sure ain't no fucking Facebook. I tell you that goddamn much. Meanwhile, Sleepy Joe, Sleepy Joe, go to sleep, Sleepy Joe. Goddamn sloth from Zootopia. Fucking wrinkle in time. The old man from the movie fucking up. Goddamn five second Dave off a of 51st date. The motherfucker been on the app for over four months and he can't even get a quarter million goddamn followers. Now, isn't that something? But I tell you one thing, it don't look like 81 million motherfucking people. You know the 81 million people they said voted for this man? Bullshit. Somebody fucking lying. Let me tell you how much people love Trump. Other countries, they're chanting Trump. Now, you know you a powerful motherfucker. You got people in other countries that actually hate America. But when I like America, if Trump was in charge, come on now. These motherfuckers don't realize. And I'm going to say this. Uh, I, I hate to say it, but Democrats and Republicans, I think that one of Trump's biggest mistakes is believing that his own party was with him. And they're not. To be honest with you, at the beginning, they all was trying to shame this man. Okay? A lot of his friends from the Republican Party abandoned him, threw him under the bus. Don't get it twisted, y'all. It's just not the Democratic Party. It's Republican, too. I hate to say it, but it is true. I think now, once he wins, he gonna go in with the fucking vengeance. That's for goddamn sure. He had to begin it four years ago, and everybody, oh, Trump is racist. Trump is racist. His own people disavowed him. And now, all of a sudden, they behind him. Yeah, we support Trump. We, You motherfuckers abandoned him four years ago. See, y'all got a little taste of the Biden administration. Now all of a sudden, y'all want to be his fucking friends again. I'm not with neither party. I'm a conservative. I have traditional conservative values. Quite frank, middle finger to both goddamn modern parties right now. Neither one of them stand for the Constitution. But I am very pro-Trump. And unfortunately, there's only two goddamn parties, so we got to choose one. People don't understand the more that they try to chastise this man is the more people going to love him, point blank. That's what they don't fucking understand. Now, they already tried the racism thing. It, it, it backfired. It doesn't work. It worked for a little bit of time, but now it's catching up with them. Try to do the Akon mug shot. That didn't work. That definitely fucking backfired. They trying to put him in jail with all these stupid ass charges that they don't even know. They don't even know why they charging him. The fucking judges don't even know. You talk to a lot of these liberal fucking politicians, when you ask him what has he been charged for, neither one of them know why. People are going to relate to him more. That's just the reality of it. We are seeing how you are treating, how you are taking the Constitution and laws and bending it, right, into you guys' favor to put this man in jail. Here's the thing. They want to get rid of him, but they don't realize that they're pushing him more towards us, to loving him. Now, this man Trump has been everywhere, UFC to fucking Bronx to... Everywhere you could possibly think of at this point, in every single location, show up for him. Meanwhile, Sleepy Joe can't even get 35 and a half fucking people in his rally. Half of them are reporters. The other half are Democratic friends. If our government really, really was in our best interest, like they say they are, and the people love Trump, the people love what the four years we was in ec the economy and all that, and we want him to be our head honcho leader in charge, why the fuck aren't you all giving what the people want? We want Trump. Now, the million-dollar question is, why don't y'all want to give us Trump? We all genuinely believe that in our best interest, Trump would be the best candidate and the best leader, and I don't know how fucking long. I can't name a better leader since I was born. Because it sure fucking wasn't no goddamn Obama, George Bush, Bill Clinton. The proof is in the pudding. Everybody wants him. Look at his goddamn social media platform. Let's go.